Hello, I'm Anisha Adams and I'm director of the upcoming full featured Christian film that was written by William Stokes entitled The Last Dime. So I call this story a true fiction story because even though it's fictional, it's based on true real life events. I mean, just here in our home state of South Carolina, there's been so much racial tension, attack on the faith, and just a lot of negative energy in the state. So we want to bring some positivity, something to really inspire, to lead people back to God. The Last Dime is a Christian film that highlights the power of love, no matter the race, gender, or background. We were inspired to produce this film to address the racial issues that we've been experiencing in our very own state, South Carolina. For example, nine church goers were shot and killed during a Bible study at the historical Mother Emanuel AME Church in Charleston, South Carolina. The church goers were gunned down by a white male that wore a Confederate flag patch on his jacket and also paraded the flag on his social media page. The Confederate flag is a very controversial topic. Some view it as a symbol of honor to deceased veterans, while so many others view it as a symbol of hate. Due to the church slaying, our former governor, Nikki Haley, made a righteous act and ordered the flag to be removed from the state house grounds with hope to move South Carolina forward in unity. Yet, here in our own city, Orangeburg, the flag still flies, which is a clear representation that racism still exists. Good evening. Today in the shadow of the South Carolina State House, it took an honor guard just 36 seconds to lower a symbol that has divided this nation for a century and a half. The applause was thunderous and sustained. Look at the crowd. After 54 years, the Confederate battle flag was brought down from the site for the very last time. It was a swift and dramatic turn in history, born of the racist murders of nine members of a black church in Charleston less than a month ago by a man who embraced that flag. The writer, producers, and myself believe that this film is another great way to move our state forward. In similarity to that event, the film depicts different perspectives of a Southern politician that is faced with racial issues. There's his assistant that tries to get him to see the views of the African American community. And in contrast, there is a character that has gained spiritual wisdom and tries to shed light in the community. Through this Christian film, uh, we look to touch lives, we look to save lives, we look to encourage lives. Um, there's a lot of films out there and we look to just be one of those great films, one of those films that you can sit down and watch on Sunday with your kids. Uh, one of those family films that, you know, will always be remembered. And, you know, through the process, we as a people can join and unite. and through Christ, we can, you know, do more than we could do just on our own. You know, it says, the Bible says that one will put a thousand to flight and two will put 10,000 to flight. So just imagine if we all get together on one accord, how many uh, uh, spirits that we can put a flight that are not of God. We hope with this film, we will get rid of the divide and get the different races in our city and state to work together. Although segregation ended years ago, sadly by default, the separation still continues. For example, Christian believers still don't worship together. There are very few churches that are diverse, but there are still some who don't see anything wrong with having an all-white or an all-black congregation and so on. Our aim is to bring light to the issues we ignore on a daily basis and present the ultimate cure, which is love. With your help, we can do it. We are experienced and have completed two successful short films within the last year. With this full featured film, we are really in need of extra help, not only to fund this project, but we need your prayers and support as well. Donated pledges will be used to, play, to pay local and talented individuals of all races that are willing to work together to help heal our state. Funds will also be used to start up capital, to purchase additional equipment, licensing fees, and renting locations. Please give what you can, and we will forever be grateful for your support.